Hello everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, I just thought today I would do another Valentine's look, but I thought this time I will do a red look. Um, and I thought I would use the blood sugar palette, which is perfect to do a red look. Um, so in case you don't have this palette or you don't know about it, it looks like this. So it's a perfect mixture with browns, golden colours like purple, pinks and purple, pinks and reds. So yeah, it's a really, really nice palette. Um, I love how all these different red looks, it just looks really, really nice. So yeah, I just thought we'll do like a nice red look with these. I hope you're having a, a nice day on Valentine's Day. Obviously, this will be posted on Valentine's Day, but I'm recording it on the Friday. Um, so yeah, I hope uh, you have an amazing day then. Um, and eat something really, really yummy. I'm going to be using my JH33 dress. Uh, my mother-in-law gifted it to me. I think I might be wearing this one. Or I have like a silky pink um, dress as well. Obviously, I will be doing my makeup pink like the previous video I did. Um, so yeah, I might wear the pink or I might wear this one. I like both. So... Oh, we could start with sugar cane, which is like really similar to the color of my skin. It's a perfect transition for the eyes. I thought I have to use my piggy mirror. I love this mirror. <laughs> so, as I said, going into sugar cane. And this is the perfect transition. It's like a beige kind of color. So on the other video, I told you I didn't really know what I was doing on Valentine's Day. Um, I mean for eating and that, because we're in lockdown in the UK, right? Um, so what we thought we'll do, we'll do like a Nando's chicken. And sometimes in the supermarkets here, um, you can get like the Nando's spices in a bag, so you can cook the chicken in a bag. And it's really, really yummy and juicy. So I thought I would do that. Um, with some like coconut rice or Mexican rice that would look really amazing if you don't know Nando's um, Nando's is like I believe it's like a Portuguese restaurant and they have like coconut chicken I think like coconut and lime and mango things like that um, and it's really really nice you can always ask, ask for sides like um, like garlic bread, mashed potatoes, Mexican rice and things like that. So it's a really, really nice restaurant. Um, so yeah, I just thought we could do the, um, we could do like a homemade meal, like Nando's is inspired since, I mean, we could order it online, but we thought if we do the meal and then what we can do is have some creams dessert. We love creams, we're not being for ages because we're in lockdown and obviously it's been closed since March, which is really sad because um, we used to love it. So you can have you can have waffles, pancakes, you can have smoothies. I will put like a picture or video in there so you can see in case you don't know creams. Um, you can have ice creams, cookie dough, it's just really really nice place and we absolutely love it so we thought because we've not had it for ages we'll do the chicken nando style and uh, with some sides like probably mashed potato and rice coconut rice mexican rice like a spicy kind of rice and then we'll have the amazing dessert uh, which is close but you can get it f i believe from delivery or uber eats as well so yeah i'm looking forward to it and where is it? Cherry so the last time I already used blood sugar as well. I think the golden one, what's it called? Donna. Um I already used them. So I think I am gonna go with fresh meat, which is kind of like um I'll say burgundy kind of colour. So I thought we'll do fresh meat and coma, is it coma? To darken the corner. And that will do like a different kind of look. So I'm going to be using the same brush, so JH33 from Jacqueline. I just feel like with Jeffrey's formula, you have to build it up. You don't have to put loads at first because 
it's really really pigmented so just be careful when you're using it obviously blend it really well so which is putting it in the corner and bringing it all over the crease I think you can see in there so bringing it is quite it's, it's a really nice colour I'll say it's kind of like a burgundy kind of colour like I said before but I really really like it it's so nice and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be applying it on the other one and then we'll blend it so you drop it in the corner because that's where I want the most pigment to be and then follow the crease take all the pigment to the crease this is going to be the main colour so yeah I hope you have like a nice recipe so you can spend your Valentine's with your husband boyfriend or family and friends which is it don't matter if it's with your friends as well I think it just enjoy the day you know just enjoy the day it's something really do me watch films or play games which is probably what we're gonna do anyway um, so yeah I am excited to do that probably play some Nintendo Mario cards watch, watch some films why not <laughs> So we're going to blend it now. And it, I am going to use my JH36. I just love the way Jeffrey's formula looks. It just, you don't need a lot. It's easy to blend. And it's one of the best formulas. I really, really love Jeffrey. I'm really glad my best friend introduced me to Jeffrey Star Cosmetics. I actually didn't know a lot about makeup to be honest and since lockdown I have been learning a lot watching tutorials so yeah I am thankful to her because she introduced me to Jeffrey Cosmetics which I really really love I mean the quality of the lipsticks the formula it lasts all day is is amazing I feel like that's really nice and blended and then we'll correct the edges anyway so that's not a problem okay so I feel like that's nice and blended so we'll move on to darken the corner like I said I'm going to use coma which is like a deep purple kind of color some people tend to say it's drying it's like a really dry color just that one not the rest but um, let's see it I don't think I've really tried that color before so let's try it. I'm going to be using my JH34 which is like really nice for um, doing to darken the corner in that because it's really precise and I'm going to slowly build it up because it's like really dark colour. Oh yeah I like that. That is a nice colour. starting on my the end of my eye like the outer part of my eye and then I'm dragging it a little bit to the crease because I want to darken it at the end so for that depth just to have that depth the end just need to find a better angle so because I always feel like you can't really see when I do my left eye Yeah, I'll say it, it feels a bit more dry than the others, but it still works pretty well. So I do like this colour, like a deep purple to give some depth to the eye, like I said. I still like it. It's a really nice colour. So I'm doing the same. I'm starting on my outer part of my eye and joining it forming like a bee with my crease yeah I'm gonna be doing a cut crease with um, this is one of my brushes it's one of the flat ones I always use for cut creasing the eye obsessed from morph so we're just gonna use the Jeffrey one I mean I gotta I gotta stay Jeffrey today um, so this is on shade C6 
and it looks like this if you don't know how it looks like I think it looks really really nice I love it I think it's called magic concealer so yeah I really I really love it it was on sale I think it was like when he released the um, when he released the green palette the blood money palette so my husband got it for me so I just apply it to my eye like that with my brush uh, hopefully you can see so I'm just doing this because I want the shimmer to really really stand out you don't have to do a cut crease you can just apply the shimmer but if you want it to stand out this will really make it to stand out so we're going with candy floss this is a really really beautiful pinky rose gold kind of shade I really really love it and the shimmer is really really creamy that's why I love from Jeffree really creamy really shimmery which is what they need to be right look how nice that looks that looks very beautiful I'm gonna be using to define a little bit JH41 with my finger I can apply it well but not in here like in the corner of my eye this this brush really applies shimmer amazing I mean look how beautiful that looks I did before so just apply it there there not a problem we'll fix it just make sure you don't open your eyes when you're doing a cut crease I'll just blend it that's it so that's it I love this colour so beautiful I really think this is one of my favourite palettes because you can do a neutral look or you could go with a red look but you don't have to go full on red you could use the red really blend it out use the candy floss or use the sweetener which is kind of like a gold and red kind of shimmer like a goldy red um, so yeah you don't have to go full on red that's why I love this palette so I'm being precise on the top and then if you don't want the edges to look too rough then what you do you apply a dark color and join it with the shimmer so it don't look as you know as obvious the line of the cut crease I learned that with all the tutorials um, in lockdown so a really nice tip if you didn't know that we'll go with the same brush that we used the coma and it's JH34 so yeah just introduce it with the shimmer and it just don't look that rough I hope you have like really nice ideas to do a nice look on Valentine's if not you can do this one and my previous one which is more of a pinky one which like I said will be the one I'm doing for Valentine's I feel like doing more of a pinky one and I really want to try the birthday suit um, pink lipstick which I haven't tried yet I got it I got the volume volume 2 for Christmas and I still haven't tried it well I have tried some of them like Nathan and um, I think it's called Christmas cookie um, I haven't tried the rest though so yeah I'm looking forward to it it looks really nice I mean it's not that obvious anymore then like on the edges here soften it a bit yeah that's better and do the same on the other one 
I like that better. Can you see like it's lighter there, it's darker in the corner. I love that depth that gives. I mean, I, I love that look when it's dark in the corner. It just gives you the best smoky kind of eye. It's really, really beautiful. And then if you wing it out, it, it will look amazing. I'm just going to apply the concealer on C6, like I said before. I already applied it like next to my nose and like forehead and that. So I'm just going to do my eyes. That is really, really full coverage. Um, it is quite pricey, but I think it's well worth it. It is well worth it. If you obviously want to treat yourself or want a really full coverage, which you could find in another brand, but I love the Jeffrey one because I have really dark circles. I really but the circles and it covers everything so I love it okay so underneath I'm just gonna be doing the same recreation of what I did um, on my upper right so gonna use fresh meat and then at the end I'm gonna put coma like just here to join it Jeffree Star 13 and just gonna put it really closely to my eye I'm on the other one blend it with my JH37 from Jacqueline I like this, it just because it's the same colour, it looks really nice. So I'm just blending it so it's not as bright. To coma, which is the dark purple. And I'm just going to apply these at the end to join it. There we go. And probably three quarters of my lower lash line. Playing with this palette, I feel like I don't play a lot with this one. Like, because we've been in lockdown for the whole year, nearly, with this virus. Um, I don't really play with makeup as much anymore, just when I do my videos mostly, but yeah, I mean I can't wait for everything to be normal again and play with makeup as much as before. And I just play with makeup but actually going out and do something. Right, so now I'm going to do a wink and if I need to correct the corners I'll probably use like a quick like a q-tip or something like that so it's not as messy i'm going to use the ila masca i had on one of my glossy boxes and i can be really precise with this one which i really like so i'm going to start from the top doing a really really thin line and then wing it And all I've got to say, if winging your eye really scares you, I just think I'm not a professional. I mean, I've been learning this slowly with practice. I mean, I used to do really thick lines. And then with practice, you start to do thinner lines. And then obviously you get there slowly. So I say don't panic if you don't really know how to wing your eyes. Because if you practice, keep practicing. Don't give up and you'll get there i mean i still don't get it perfect every time but i always try so that was a really nice wing actually i'm impressed
book. So I'm just gonna obviously um, take a bit of the pigment that is close to my wing so it looks a bit more tidy. I'll do my other eye, uh, I'll do my mascara and I'll be back. Okay so I did my wing. I still think I like this wing more than that one but they look pretty similar. They look pretty similar. I do like how it looks with the wing. I think if you do like a really, really like um, dramatic eye, it looks better with the wing. So yeah, I think that looks really nice. For highlighter, blush and bronzer, we could use the Tether Baker. It's like a palette they had for Christmas and I got it on the sale. I think it was only £8, but it was, no, I think was it 18 pounds I got it for nine something like that and it looks like these so it has like a golden champagne highlighter I think rosy um, blush it has a, it has like loads of shimmer in it and it has like gold reflex as well and then like a bronzer contour on this one I think it's I think it's bronzer this one Um. so yeah I think it's nice because you have like three in one so if you're traveling or something you could do like the three and you don't have to like pack different products. Gonna start with the bronzer, gonna dip into it. I'm not sure how dark this is, I've never used it before. Oh yeah, I think it's, I think it's quite buildable so I think it will work with every, everybody's skin. You know, if you're lighter, then apply less. If your skin is more, if your skin is dark, then obviously apply more. So, yeah, I do like it. It's a nice color. I really like the way my eyes turn out. It's like a red, purple kind of shade. Bit on my nose, what's left on my jawline. My JH1 from Jacqueline, and this is really nice for blending. Don't know if I might put too much. No, it blends quite well, this nice. Really nice, actually. Then we'll leave it at that. But yeah, that's that's really nice. I like that. Should we do the blush? Yeah, let's do the blush. I'm just gonna be using this brush, which is from A H B Cosmetics, which I believe they obviously closed now for a while since the first lockdown. But I'm still gonna use the brush because I like it. Um, so let's see how it says. Never tried this blush before. The only problem with shimmery blushes, it kind of it kind of like makes your pores more noticeable, which you gotta be careful. But wow, that is nice though. I like that. It has like a gold reflect on it, so I'll say you don't really need highlighter if you apply it like there, because it has like a golden reflect. Well, I'm still going to apply a highlighter, so I want to see how it is. That, that golden reflect. I don't know if the NARS orgasm is like that. I've never tried it before, but it gives me a vibe of that one. Wow, that is nice. I mean, can you, can you see that reflect? You don't need highlighter with that. That's amazing. The bronzer, I love the blush. Let's try the highlighter. Now just try the other side. But I like really pigmented. Oh yes, that's full on. But you can slowly build it up, so don't be scared to use it. Do the same on this eye. I mean on this side. bit on my nose. 
Wow, it's really beautiful. It's like a champagne kind of highlighter, but it's not like it's not like full on. I mean, when you apply it, you can really see it, but it's not like chunky glitter in there. So it's one of the highlighters I really enjoy using. I mean, can you see like it's there, but it's not like wow, nice. I love it. So yeah, this palette. I'm so glad I picked it up. It's a really really nice palette, and. Um, you can do all in one and I feel like with some blushes it really really you can see my pores but with this one it looks nice I like it really nice really impressed with that Um, so I'm gonna use dominatrix the mini one I think this will look nice Oh, sorry, it's not Dominatrix, it's um, Top Shelf, sorry. This is how Top Shelf looks like. This will be the one I will choose. This one looks really, really nice because the eyes are quite colourful. I feel like this one will be like a really, really nice lipstick for it so I took it off again so the last one I want to try today so you got choice of like a dark brown and this one will be more like a bumpy one like to be more monochromatic got the cherry one which is more like a purple bumpy bumpy kind of color so I think this will look really nice yeah definitely So I will say I will go for the dark brown or if you go, want to go for a bumpy one, this one. I think it's similar to the eye look. So look, yeah, it's similar to the eye look so I kind of like it. It's like a burgundy purple kind of shade. So I think it looks nice with the look but... I think I will go more with the dark brown because that's my kind of colour but it's nice that I can use this colour with like the deeper purples in the palette so yeah it's nice that if I use like fresh meat or extraction like this too I could use this lipstick and it will look amazing so so yeah I like that I hope you enjoyed my Valentine's look today so you can see the candy floss at the beginning and then the deeper purple at the end and then you can see a uh, fresh meat kind of like on the crease as well so yeah I think it's a really nice colour I like the way it turned out um, yeah I, it was really fun playing with this palette again um, so I'm hoping you enjoyed this look and you liked it and I think it looks really nice with the blush as well and everything so if you if you enjoy my video today give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys on the next video bye